And just like that, about three minutes later, we are on to our next uh, finalist, Juliet Rose, studying rehabilitation research. Juliet. Does size really matter? Well, we learn to associate big with heavy and small with light. But what happens when you go to lift two objects that are the same weight but different sizes? Let's say you're about to pick up a small block like you can see in these images here. As you go to pick it up for the first time, you're going to under predict the amount of force required to pick it up. This is because it is heavier than its small size indicates. For the large block, as we go to pick this up for the first time, we are going to over predict the amount of force required to pick it up. This is because it is lighter than its large size indicates. As you go and you lift these two blocks up over and over again, you are going to fall under what is called the size weight illusion. This is where you repetitively report the small block as being heavier than the big block, despite their even weights. But what's truly fascinating about the size weight illusion is despite us thinking that the small block is heavier than the big block, our body's motor system learns that they are in fact the same weight. How do I know this? Well, our force data shows that we learn to pick up both blocks with the exact same amount of force. So what this highlights is that there must be two distinct processes, perception and motor. The goal of my research is to use the size weight illusion to better understand how we learn through motor imagery. Motor imagery is the imagination of movement, and it is an incredibly powerful tool for rehabilitation. One of my dear friends suffered from a traumatic brain injury. This resulted them in losing the function of both their arms and their legs. This is where motor imagery becomes incredibly powerful because they can imagine themselves performing movements to regain function. For example, they can imagine themselves squeezing a lemon in their hand to regain function of that hand. This is effective because motor imagery is thought to use the same brain processes as actual movement. But we don't understand how we learn through motor imagery. This is where I come in. I will be using the size weight illusion to determine, is motor imagery more motor? Or is it more perception? And this will help build future rehab rehabilitation programs. So does size really matter? Well, in this case, yes, it does. It matters to better understand how we learn through motor imagery. Thank you. <laughs> 